Hello and welcome to lesson three on using the MS-20 and today's lesson is all about envelope generators and the MS-20's got two envelope generators labelled envelope generator 1 and envelope generator 2 2 being the main one. The parameters that we're particularly interested in are the attack time, the decay time, the sustain level and the release time. So I'm going to start off with a gate setting which is effectively a fast attack, high sustain and a fast release. And the result will be that. It's basically on off with no particular shape to it. But if I slow down the attack time, the sound will fade in rather than start immediately. And when I let go, it stops immediately. So we've got a slow attack, high sustain, and a fast release. This time, I'm going to increase the release time so that when I let go of the key, it fades out. Fine. Now let's turn the release time back to uh, zero and also speed up the attack time. And you may be all wondering, well, what about the decay time? Well, in order to hear what the decay does, you have to lower the sustain level. At the moment, the sustain is on maximum and the decay determines how long it takes for the sound to drop from its highest level down to the sustain level. So if the sustain level is on maximum, there's nothing to drop down to. So in order to hear the decay time, I'm going to drop the sustain level. I'll show you what that does. Sounds like it's getting quieter. But now we should be able to hear the effect of the decay. That's a fast-ish release. Sorry, decay. There we go. A slower decay time. And while my finger's on the key, what you're hearing now is rather quiet. It's a sustain level. I can bring it up or take it down. And then when I let go, the sound fades out according to the settings on the release time control. So those are the envelope settings at the moment on the amplifier. Now I can also use them on the filter and this is the EG2 depth control. This determines how far the filter will open and therefore to hear the effect you have to start off by closing the filter. And Let's close it, add a bit of resonance and this is what it'll sound like. Now I'm going to slow down the attack. And let's turn the sustain level down. Fast attack. And you can hear you can hear the release there. Can also do the same thing. I'm actually going to open it slightly. Can do the same thing with the high pass filter. So that was a low pass filter. Now in a high pass filter, turn the resonance up, turn the depth control up as well. And by using both high pass and low pass filter together, we're effectively what we've got is a band pass filter. <laughs> So you can hear the effect of the envelope on the filters as well as the amplifier. So now let's look at the envelope generator 1. I'm just resetting my controls here. And we've got the attack and the release. So I'm going to slow down the attack and the control which determines uh, the 